When you're informed that a gastroschisis delivery is pending, it is vitally important that the correct preparation is undertaken. Ensure your room is warm, there is no draft and the overhead heater is working. Collect your equipment for which you need your normal NLS equipment and some cling film, a large NG tube, size 8 French for a preterm baby or 10 for a term baby, a 60ml enteral syringe and a free drainage bag. Have 0.9% normal saline fluid bolus at the ready as these babies can lose significant amount of fluids through their gastroschisis defect needing varying amounts of fluid resuscitation at birth and during the initial stabilisation period. Next, prepare your team. Ensure your paediatric surgical team has been informed and let your neonatal consultant know immediately. Undertake a pre-resuscitation huddle, ensuring clear role allocations. Have one person on the airway, two people for bowel assessment, bowel support and wrapping of the bowel in cling film. Ideally, one of these should be from the paediatric surgical team. The fourth person should be in charge of inserting the NG tube, decompressing the stomach and monitoring the gastric output and any fluid that has been given. During the huddle, ensure that the midwifery and obstetric team are aware that we ideally want a minimum of 10 centimetres of umbilical cord attached to the baby and that we plan for one minute of delayed cord clamping. When preparing the resuscitator, place a layer of cling film across the resuscitator on top of one of the towels. Ensure to begin that the overhead heater is only on a low heat, but when the baby's delivery is imminent, place this to high heat. If it's left on a high heat for the entire time, the cling film will melt. When the baby is delivered, start your app car clock and aim for one minute of delayed cord clamping as allowed. Dry the head, shoulders and back, place on your hat and place the baby in the middle of the cling film on your resuscitator. Assess the colour, tone, breathing and heart rate. Attach a SATS probe to the right hand and ensure the airway is patent and regular respirations before proceeding. In this case, our baby is breathing spontaneously and has a good heart rate. During the stabilisation and bowel handling period, support with some additional oxygen. Ensure not to provide any unnecessary peep as this will cause bowel and stomach dilatation. In cases of prolonged resuscitation, intubate early. Next, measure and insert a large bore NG tube. Aspirate it using a 60ml syringe to decompress the stomach and bowel. Whilst the initial NLS is being undertaken, it is one team member's job to support and stabilise the bowel centrally and then assess the bowel's perfusion and alignment. Ideally, this would be a member of the paediatric surgical team. Now we begin to wrap the bowel, ensuring the baby's arms are raised above their head and bowel supported throughout. Ensure the cling film is tight at the edges but soft in the bits of relying the bowel to ensure the blood supply is not compromised. With each layer of cling film, try to aim slightly more towards the head with one wrap and then towards the feet with the next wrap. This will ensure a tight and secure seal and will help minimise any excess fluid loss from the bowel. Cling film has the advantage that it provides the additional support to the bowel wall, but also the fact that it is transparent and that you can see the perfusion of the bowel throughout all of your handling. Once bowel wrapping is complete, and as a team you're happy with the support the cling film is providing, and most importantly you're happy with the perfusion of the bowel, place the baby onto the same side as the defect. This is almost always the right hand side, but it is good practice to check. Then you can use inco sheets or nappies to help support the baby in this position. This increases the blood supply to the bowel.
When your baby is stable and the entire team are happy, the baby can be moved to neonatal intensive care. Here is a list of some of the further management points to be considered. Most importantly, ensure that you've adequately fluid resuscitated the baby as clinically indicated. Continue to monitor accurate input and outputs and monitor the bowel alignment and perfusion along with the overall status of the baby. This is a list of some of the benefits for borrow wrapping. 